So if there was a popularity contest among universities in US, this one would be a top contender. Can you guess where I am? Well, this is the Northeastern. So today I'm in Boston and we are spending a day in, at the Northeastern University. Every Indian student at some point or the other would have definitely considered Northeastern as their, one of their options. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you around the campus. So if you want to know more about Northeastern and you're thinking of applying here, then you will get a real and authentic account of the life here. So if you have applied to Northeastern and you are looking forward to coming here, then this video will help you in your visa interview preparation. We will try to find as many unique points about the university as possible. And yeah, let's get started. has like the best co-op culture in all of yeah US. so co-op is kind of an internship so during your coursework you can apply for a job full-time 40 hours with studies you can have you can have a free you know that kind of a thing with how the office work and everything will be so you'll have a gist of that you'll have a hand of that and after that when you start applying you can show that you, you have already been a part of a company this good and you'll be able to show them your work before you know getting over with your graduation everything. It is, so it, it gives you a real feel of the industry right mm -hmm. when you are studying as yes. a college student. So that is very helpful for people who don't have like much experience, they are first time, they are coming to US. So we also get a lot of questions about Northeastern and one of the most commonly asked questions is how does co-op work, uh, what does one need to do before, what does one need to do once they are here. So can you just so, explain? Yeah. Process. So, um, before applying for co-op, um, Northeastern has a course, that course is called Intro to Co-op. So, you need to take that course, in that course they the will explain. the first semester? Yeah, you can take it in the first semester or second semester, whenever you feel like necessary. Okay. But uh, after you come here, right? Yeah, after you come here, definitely. So you can take that course and in that course they explain like how you can build up your profile, how you can yeah. write a good resume, a cover letter and you can like, they uh, explain you about NUWorks which is a platform of Northeastern. In that platform they actually provide you the opportunity like uh, the companies advertise, it's like a job portal inside Northeastern. So, uh, it is only for students of Northeastern, so they can directly uh, put their resume in a new works and directly yeah. apply for companies. Northeastern has tie-ups with companies, right? So, whenever there is a posting available, apart from LinkedIn and whatever job sites that they have, they make sure that they post it on the new works and the advisor that is that you know that guides you for the co-op as he mentioned that you have a course called intro to co-op right so difference so it is different for different different uh, subjects and different different departments so basically i also had that course in my third semester or second semester it depends i took it in my second semester so what it basically they tell you is that they show you how to build up the resume as you told you but apart from that you have mock interviews and everything so kind of a one-to-one -one session and they take care of most of the important questions that they can have you irrespective of your field or what your interests are. So every, I think, student who looks to study in US will think about research at some point or the other. Uh, so what's the research focus here in Northeastern? So, so research is actually so the thing is that I, I want you to you for the biotech yeah I'm so for the biotech, with yeah. To the biotech yeah. yeah with the biotech so I personally chose a BSc because I wanted to go in a research field so the reason I chose Northeastern is that so there's a building called Isaac you can see it from here it's a very well made well the architect one yeah. Yeah. yeah the one behind it's very well architected so that's the main building where most of the professors have their research labs and everything and before came here okay, like, you know choosing between BU and Northeastern the thing that I like the most is that most of the professors have a background from the job side or from the pharmaceutical sides. So what helps me in this is that if I, so I've actually volunteered in one of the labs with the professor. So I worked under him, he told me how the work culture is, how it is different in academic portion, how it is different in the work, you know, in, in the normal business side, what are the key things that you should focus if you are, you know, thinking of going into the academics, just the academics part. 
because for me it is divided into two things a pure academics where you go into the phd and stuff and uh, you know kind of a business thing where you go into the pharmaceutical and just work over there so, so i the yeah so so the research so for northeastern it's kind of in between both okay. so if you want to go for academics you can have that as well and if you want to go for the the business point of view you can go for it that as well that's why i actually took you know i chose northeastern because i coming from just an academic background didn't have any knowledge on how to transition between those two so for me it would work pretty well if at all i chose to not go into the academics but you know have my legs you know one in there one in there so i can have both of that so to and be honest how is the research infrastructure so research in, it's actually good you have most of the you know the late so there is a section in the isaac where you have most of the one time you know it's like most of the very well advanced technologies with respect to the you know industries and the field you have that in one section of the building and you can always access that through the professors so if you want to learn anything at any point of it you just shoot up a mail to the professor tell them that you're inter- interested in this field and you have an interest you show them your work you show them your interest your resume and everything and maybe they'll just get on to you and you can just is there any have, specific research lab anything uh, unique the one that i have seen is the nanotechnology uh, nanotechnology and the neuroscience okay. i've never been into the neuroscience ones but i've been into the nanotechnology and i've actually used up to of these so these uh, would be the most advanced yeah most labs, advanced yeah, yeah actually okay. great and what about your data science and um, data engineering right yeah data science data engineering so What's it's the like research focus yeah um, if you talk about uh, the research focus in data science ai in general so uh, a lot of things are happening in northeastern actually uh, if you are talking about research only uh, like northeastern faculties they publish a lot of papers every year uh, and various like cutting edge domains in ai and uh, like i i would also say like uh, northeastern they very well balance out between the industry and the academia and uh, there are like uh, professors who are uh, like very well distinguished professors uh, from the academy uh, like academia and they are publishing like very good papers and the students are also like they are working with the professors and uh, they are also publishing a lot of papers uh, i personally know a lot of people like i i uh, have not uh, been here for that long but still i know a couple of uh, students who have like published paper like publishing is uh, paper is something and, they're working and, with professors and yeah they are working with the professors and they are publishing papers and that paper is also getting like the uh, top ranks in certain conferences so it's like uh, they are being nominated for best paper awards and so like it's a very so good there are plenty of research opportunities if someone yeah. interested in yeah 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 and northeastern also they have like their own um, high performance computing labs so it's like a, a very powerful computer lab which they have and there you can run like the state of the art algorithms uh, so it's like a very cutting edge and they are like right where they should be So what is your typical class schedule like So for me um I have classes on uh, four days of the week the classes generally uh, I'm in the college of engineering I have like four days in a week classes So classes are like uh, two types of classes one is like the normal length class which roughly ranges around 1 and 1/2 hours to 1 hour 40 minutes and then there is an extended class like uh, for a subject you can expect like two classes in a week and uh, if you don't have two classes then you'll probably have one class and that one class will be around 3 and 1/2 hours to 4 hours so you're coming to campus thrice a week basically four times oh, a four week four times a week for your classes yeah yeah okay. i don't have classes on monday and rest all the days i am coming to the campus okay and uh, how much preparation do you need before attending a class um not much actually the classes are uh, quite good uh, they teach everything from the basics so even if you are just uh, attending the class without any prior knowledge of that subject i think the class is sufficient for you if you are paying attention classes are sufficient 
the faculty and teaching quality is very good in northeastern living it depends well so first of all are you living you are not living on campus no right? i'm not living on campus so uh, for undergrad it's like that that you are for the first year you have to live on campus on dorms or anything like that but more for master students it's not compulsory you can always have or off campus housing so you can either reach out to university they have different different websites and pages where they can help you find off campus housing you can always go through sites like soleha and you know there's zillow and everything or you can just you know ask your friends they have you know lots of lots of lots of no question anything like that so the first thing that you have to decide and what i would prefer is for the first 6 months or the first year to stay near the college have a hand of everything you know hand of transportation how everything is connected so that you know when you once move you know a further back from university you can you, know, you will be able to easily have a transport and everything so for the first 6 months when i came i used to live in boysen street it's near like uh, 0.91 mile from university after that from like i think fall 21 I shifted to Brighton. It's around 3.7 miles from the university. The reason for me was that first the rent is the rent is comparatively lower, and the second thing is that the house over there is much more bigger as compared to what we get near the university. Because as you know, we have lots and lots of camping or I mean house campuses and everything over here, but they are comparatively much more smaller and compact. So, for example, the rent for my previous you know, house was around six hundred without utilities. So, with utilities, it was around seven hundred. But right now, I'm paying like six hundred, including utilities. So here, yeah, so like you know, it 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 saves me hundred dollars. But it also adds up to the transportation cost. But the thing is that if you overall add it up, technically, it's much more better to live far with tra- giving transportation cost. because you get nice home you get everything so what i would say if you buy groceries all the time at home i think 200 to 250 would be okay so if you are living near the college having 700 as your rent i think right now it's around 700 750 but let's go on the lower side so 700 plus 250 so that's around 950 so if you do not do anything else just your living expenses and your food would be around like 950000 in boston and if you get a on campus job or if you get an on campus i think you will be able to get your uh, monthly ex- monthly expenses just even after the tax because once your tax gets deducted as on our fund students you know they cannot have your tax so at the end of the year when you you know fill up the form and everything you will get your tax back so you still be able, you would still be able to make around 1100 per month which would be able which you would be able to you know, have your monthly expenses now so uh, the unique thing about northeastern is like uh, i have seen like i have a couple of friends who are studying in different colleges in uh, us but uh, northeastern they have a very strong indian culture just going on in this campus like whenever you see any master students 95 to 99% chance is that guy is an indian guy So, 95%. Yeah. Wow. What's so, the strength total student strength? Um total student strength is uh, like uh, the bachelor's master's phd or just the masters? Just overall like indian students. Uh, okay. Indian students uh, actually there is something like 7011 students or something like that. But it is uh, in general you see like 6000 6500 indian students definitely in the campus. So uh Indians there is a lot of uh, indian students and on top of that there is this new sanskriti group which is like the indian community in northeast and this uh, new sanskriti community they host the largest number of events across any school in usa so like for any kind of event tell it like onam diwali or any kind of like any kind of event you definitely find something which a new sanskriti is hosting so that was uh, very good for me initially when i joined i got a chance to be a part of a new sanskriti where i met the other guys as well but then like the work uh, the study pressure is too much so i had to step down but i definitely made probably it. in the coming semesters you can yeah probably i can try again when the Because uh, first semester is usually the biggest. Yeah, yeah, it's very hectic. Busy, yeah. yeah, and also you have to get used to the culture, and then 
स्टडी वाइज इट्स लाइक वाइट हेक्टिक सो देर इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल एन यू ट्रिप्स आई वॉज एक्चुअली नॉट एबल टू गो विद दैम बट वन ऑफ लाइक सम ऑफ कपल ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स वर एक्चुअली एबल टू गो सो दे आर सम वन यू नो दे आर एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हु मैनेजेस एंड यू नो मैनेजेस ट्रिप्स एंड एवरीथिंग सो इफ वॉन्ट गो विद दैम दे ट्रिप्स ट्रिप्स एंड एवरीथिंग या सो वॉट वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट दे वेंट ऑन अ ट्रैकिंग ट्रिप लाइक लास्ट मंथ आई थिंक सो यू जस्ट हैव टू साइन अप गिव सम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी फॉर द यू नो स्टॉफ यू नो द क्लोथिंग एंड द एवरीथिंग यू नो द बैग्स एंड एवरीथिंग द केयर्स एंड एवरीथिंग एंड यू जस्ट गो विद इट्स नाइस एक्चुअली एंड हैव यू डन एनी थिंग इन द लास्ट वन मंथ या घर ढूंढने में ही मतलब टाइम चला गया हाँ मतलब लाइक यू हैव टू स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम ट्राइंग टू गेट द बेसिक थिंग्स शॉर्ट इट बट आफ्टर कमिंग हेयर आई जॉइंड अ कपल ऑफ क्लब्स एक्चुअली आई हैव या आई हैव जॉइंड लाइक अ कपल ऑफ क्लब्स विच इंक्लूड लाइक ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप क्लब एज वेल एज देर इज डेटा साइंस क्लब एज वेल एज आई वॉज पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कम्युनिटी As well as there are lot of clubs. Yeah, we have cricket in, clubs. We have yeah. we have Tetris club. I am actually a part of a, a, a club called Tetris club. They just so the so the main thing is that they they meet every week yeah. on a specified time and just play games and stuff like that. Yeah. So almost nice. all the clubs are like that. Yeah, all the clubs they are like that. They will meet like once a week for about one hour or two hours. And it's not just restricted to masters. It's like everyone. Yeah, everybody can included. come and join. Yeah. There are a lot of clubs in northeastern. Yeah. So I hope this video has helped you understand more about Northeastern about the life in Boston how it would feel to actually study her and we have a lot more videos in this series about US universities so do make sure to subscribe check out the entire playlist and for more in-depth preparation when it comes to your visa interview do reach out for a one to one session with me the details of all of this is in the description box below signing off for now see you in the next one bye